One of the reoccurring topics on Control Paint is the idea of creative reuse. Because you're using computer software, it's worth knowing when to paint and when to let the computer paint for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to repeat shapes to build an object within Photoshop. To approach painting this screw, I'll begin by thinking about the basic components that it's made up of. It's got a head, which is a unique shape. It's got a shaft, which is a cylinder with a tapered end. And it's got a set of threads. And because each of these types of objects is lit in a different way, I'll break up the drawing into three parts. So first I'll paint the shaft as its own object. I'll then paint the head separately and add some soft shadowing underneath. And at this point, it's time to add the complicated part, the set of threads. So because making the first thread or the master thread is going to take a few minutes to do, I've sped up the following footage to condense the action. And once I'm finished with the master thread, I'll then clone copies to propagate across the rest of the shaft. The first stage is to make my master thread. This is the one that I'm going to spend the most time on because then I'll be cloning it over and over to make the rest of my threads. And because precision is important, you'll see that I'm using the pen tool to carefully define my mask. Now this mask is going to keep all of my rendering inside the lines. And for more info on this process, check out the series called Masking 101. Here I'm using a soft round brush to render the thread. Working with a soft airbrush like this works especially well when you have a hard-edged mast to keep a sharp outline. And when I'm happy with it, I'll flatten the set down into a single layer and move it to the side. What this does is it creates what I call my safe copy. And with the safe copy as my master, it's time to use that jig and to clone a bunch of copies. With each one, I'm using the free transform tool to put it in the proper perspective and to make sure it lines up with the shaft. And here, because the shaft is separate from the threads, I can paint the lighting underneath the threads to just work on the shaft independently. This is a really handy thing. I'll put some final touches on, and then I'll call it finished. Before you know it, you've got a very precise drawing, even though you only work precisely on one of many components. So oftentimes man-made objects are filled with this sort of repetition, and it's really not cheating to clone your objects inside of Photoshop. So when you're working on paintings, have you ever done this sort of cloning? If you've got some clever ways to expand this technique, tell us about it in the comments. Also, as always, I'm looking for new material to cover in upcoming videos. So if you've got any questions, put those in the comments as well.